Good afternoon. Well, it's a lovely sunny day here in Margate. It's freezing. Freezing! But it's sunny and nice. And, uh, yeah, I just, just been out and about with the speaker. I didn't do any filming, sorry. Um, but I was listening to Terence McKenna, so I found a bench in the sun and uh, music and dancing went out the window so it was Terence McKenna on the speaker sitting in the old town which is kind of sort of RE people floating around photographers taking pictures of buildings Some of us like to do that. Get a good angle, the light. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, some RE photographer people floating around. And I'm just sitting on the bench listening to Terence McKenna. And uh, he's going on about nature. I think. Some of you might not know who he is, but if you don't, look him up very clever about our connection to nature and how we can get on better with each other and with the planet. Bit of an environmentalist, bit of a, a humanist as well. So, some environmentalists, they hate people. <laughs> but no, Terence McKenna is great. He's saying there is more to this life than what most people we've been told, you know. We live in a different reality, different world, different dimension to the previous generation. You know, there's so many messages coming from beyond, through, through channels and through music and art and movements, and social movements and all kinds of things happening that weren't happening before, <coughs> which is us evolving, we're, we're progressing, it's all good, it's all good. And a bit of people learning to figure out who they are and where they fit into the world and in the environment is a good thing. And yeah, people are doing it more and more. They're looking within. They're taking the time on their own to, to figure out, to, to feel their way to who they really are. And it's nice that people are taking the time to do that, you know, it wasn't... You know, that was kind of... In the past, that was considered mystical and people didn't have a bloody clue what you're talking about. They just... Do what they've always done. But now it's like you can... You can take time, withdraw from all the noise and just go and see who you are and, that, and then you come out of that more productive you're a better person I'm you know I can speak for, for me I'm a better person for everybody that I interact with because I take the time to, to figure that out <laughs> it makes it makes makes me more of me which makes for a better world. And if, it, if we're all doing that, then we're all influencing each other to do things like that, to, to become more, then that's gonna make for a richer 
experience from personal level and worldwide, I think. It's just enriching the experience. For the joy of it, because it's it's nice to have richness and depth to things, isn't it? Anyway, I do feel like I'm rambling. Anyway, it's Terence McKenna going on. He, he, none of that was him, that was me. But he triggered me there, yeah. Funny how, isn't it? Start off talking about one thing, end up on some other level. But yeah, I don't think it's going to hurt. Don't worry about me, I don't know, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah. On a totally different point. There's a lot of advice out there about meditation and all well, daily practice, really important, but the fact that they say the words daily practice, and that it's important, just puts everyone off. And then plus they they get confused because they think it's, because the word spiritual is used as well in Buddhism and Hinduism, and therefore they think, right, that's a religion, just write it, they, it complicates the crap out of it. I wish we could just put all of those details and things attached to the word meditation or even the word itself let's get rid of it for a minute just for a minute let's call it shutting down let's call it giving yourself a deliberate break a gap in the day where you go right that's I'm just just stop for 20 minutes half hour yeah because you'll be amazed at what happens when you do and I was talking to a photographer in town today and he he was, my, he was blown away by this because he thought that, you know, if you've got a busy mind and you you feel frantic, like, it's a busy day, Bryn, what the heck? How am I supposed to, you probably already think, shut up, how am I supposed to take 20 minutes, half hour to just do nothing? It sounds ridiculous, but it's not. Once you sit down there, and you just you've, you've decided it's an intention. I'm going to take this time. I'm, I'm doing it now. I just thought I'd make the video, make you guys a video while I'm taking my 20 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Just 20 minutes, just to, just to, the day, the list, the stress, the worries, just for that half hour. Put them down. And even just doing that is such a good practice, just to do that every day, to learn that it's okay to just put it all down for a minute. Just take a break. Do you know what I mean? If you're busy at work and you're... You know, they have... By law, you're meant to take breaks. It's the same thing. But it should be like a personal law. But I'm gonna give myself half hour just to shut down. And you think that's impossible, it's impossible, impossible. It's not. Because you've set the intention, because your mind knows this is what I'm going to be doing now. It's just like anything else on your busy agenda. That half hour is for that. And your brain knows that, so it just goes, okay. Because you've told it, it's, it's, it's in the schedule. So it must be done. And it, therefore you. It works, it fucking works better than you realise. So hearing about it and trying it, two different things. So yeah, if you can do that every day, like most people recommend first thing in the morning, get it clear, get, just forget everything for a minute because it's, the day hasn't started yet. So it's the best time to do it. And I do try, I try and get, I try and get 10, 15 minutes in the morning. Just, I won't allow my brain to start telling me about all the other, all this stuff. 
just give it a minute, yeah, I just go, oh, I'm just gonna take a break. And do the first, it sounds crazy again. What, just got up, you were busy, 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 no. Get up 15 minutes earlier. Because <laughs> you can just, you just take that time to chill. And you'll put that calm, empty kind of vibe into your day at the beginning. Well, I usually end up doing it about now, about sort of two in the afternoon. Because that's usually when I, I get in and I've got a little break before I do stuff. A bit late in a bit. But yeah, mornings, afternoons. Even before bed, take 20 minutes just to sit there. And it sounds crazy, just sit here, just sit here, I'm gonna go nuts, but you don't, you, 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 like I say, Set the intention, you'll do it. Because your logical brain will be like, yeah, this is what we've planned for now. And you'll get this weird sleepy, you think you're gonna fall asleep, that's normal, it's gonna be weird. Like, you know when you're watching TV and you start to, your eyes get heavy. It's like that. Just setting up, the important thing, set an alarm on your phone, or whatever. So it really is only half hour because you probably will fall asleep. But that's meditation, it's switching off. And then when you come back out of that, you can start fresh, you can go and get clean. You can start your thinking afresh, you can start your energy afresh, you can start your day afresh. Do you know what I'm saying? So any thought, thought loops that are driving you mad, they'll be gone. You, you got a fresh chance anyway, you got a fresh start when you snap out of your little half hour shutdown, you can choose what to think about again instead of being stuck with what you were thinking about before. So it's a good little coping mechanism, just a little shutdown. And it's easier than it sounds. They make it sound really complicated and mystical. And you've got to learn it and you've got to get a tape and you've got to get taught, you've got to go to a class. And it's just about switching off. And if you have trouble shutting your brain down, just listen to your breathing. Try and just listen to that like you would listen to a song. Just look at your breathing and the thoughts come in. Yeah, okay, look at your breathing. And then before you know it, you start to get hypnotized and you feel heavy and ooh. So yeah, out of the blue, little meditation tip for you. I love you all. Take five, take 10, take 20, take a break. Even if you're not doing much, it's still a break from this. Gives this a chance to rise and start talking to you. So yeah, as a good friend of mine said, get out of your head and into your hearts. Have a lovely day, doesn't matter what you're doing. Make it happy, make it fun, even if it's drudgery. Have a laugh about it. Have a fun day, yeah? What's left of it, and a nice evening. You deserve all good things, and you are loved. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Be happy.